Hello everyone, welcome to Talk Dive Into Word and the guy is on his latest back again. <coughs> especially with Dr. Stone and I was uh, especially hoping that like, not exactly hoping but like it's been so damn long since the chapter is out, like might as well just make it with the next chapter. But, but from some time and I am now ready to record this video. You might be hearing some noises in the background, just try ignoring them because I don't want to die of heat. Heat, and that's why I've left the fan on. And, and well, that's the entire reason you're hearing stuff in the background, probably. He and uh, entire reason I'm actually really making this video annoying for the next chapter might be come out tomorrow. Bro, is because um yeah, yeah. Tell him so. Let's leave all that aside and begin then we actually left off yesterday um, I mean in the last Black Doctor Stone video video that I made um the my my clock's much up right now so screw that up um, and the last chapter was single launching a missile at the goddamn dam yeah, that's okay. yeah. and it uh, went the Suez Canal has opened up and the Pursuers has gone through. <sighs> Oof, straight ahead to India. India and Kohaku kind of asks what I was wondering, like, what are we after in this India place? Yes, um, I know it's called Math City, but what does that mean? And that's mostly in baby because of our better, but <laughs> the reasons. The world reasons in this. I am not sure if they're true, but they might as well be. Hmm. And Ryusui tells him, The universe is written in the language of mathematics. That's a quote from Galileo Galilei, who I have heard of, but have no fucking clue what he did in, in science. And so, he continues, What we're after is the universal language, the wisdom of humanity itself. Math. <laughs> And everyone's like, okay, what is it? Is it again, um, uh, Chrome is basically like, cool, I mean, it sounds awesome, maybe, but that way, hey, and Kohak was like, but that still does not explain anything. <laughs> and then, and Ryusui then just tells him, like, in that case, of our missile, I was able to guide it manually, but when it comes to a rocket in the vastness of space, our calculations better be dead on, or we are dead. Not what he said, but uh, yeah, basically that. That and Senku even then burns like uh, margin of error can create a chain of errors and then kaboom, boom, boom, the entire crew dies. And they don't really want that because they want a white man to die. Die. Yeah, because like, come on, they're basically immortal. And okay, this and Senku then can sell. Okay, this is like a word like this. Senku NASA used to write by out to 15 digits, you know. You know and then basically, like, my head's spinning already. 15 digits. I don't even know the third digit, if it to be precise. This sounds Chelsea. Yeah. The whole time the rocket's flying, we gotta keep, keep pumping out those freaky calculations. Okay. Uh, hence our next destination, India. Ryusui tells, Back in the day, math education in India couldn't be beat. They would memorize the times tables, else up through the double digits. Well, not exactly, but it's kinda easy. Pretty easy. And then it's basically like, you don't say I'm afraid I would. He would have flung out of the school. And Ryu is basically like, I desire that math power. Um, later on, I guess in the chapter, and Frankoshi is basically like, desire is noble. As it happens, now that we got from a university to cultivate human resource in India. Good. <laughs> because that's kind of important in this story. I am pretty sure none of them doesn't exist, and even if it does, there is not a university in India. If there was a probably would have heard of it. And they're like, none of them sure got around, huh? 
Well, okay, so um, a bunch of screwy stuff happens, and then it you see, tells them about Sai. Um, tells us that it's a common name in India. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's Sai is like more of like a Muslim name, I guess. Uh, I have never heard someone named Sai in from all the people I know. In fact, actually, but Sai is not an Indian name, not a common one. And Ryusu tells him that the Sai person who is allegedly a common name in India, which is totally not, not is a genius mathematician whose brain power is a million times the average person's. And we get to that. And so they come to India. Where exactly are they? I'd like to know because coastal mountains, not a thing. As far as I know. October 1st, 57.50. The new Perseus arrives in India. It should be freezing right now in India. Yeah. And the first thing they do is they come. Then they do on arriving at India, gather up spices and make some curry. Um, some rice. Seriously, like okay. What actually is that thing? It's like is it, is it like you know? I don't know. Now they make curry and <laughs> Rome tries the tennis. <laughs> he becomes a dragon, as most people do. <laughs> if you are not used to it, just do it. And well, they are like, oh great, it saved us a year. And then Kohaku mentions like, huh, if we had waited for a year, I would have been the elder sister, sister. And then Sweet Caprice are like, oh, um, if they break him, they cut it away. They, I, they want to come back and make that stuff. And Kohaku is basically like. Nah, I'm not worried, not even a little bit. A bit, um, as the shaman is, as Rudy is smart enough, she knew what to do. She, they probably took defensive positions as soon as they saw the light, which is a dead. dead. And she says, we may be separated by land and sea, but siblings, yeah, understand each other. Other and they're like done right they do and you see you you see kind of smiles like yeah uh, uh, <laughs> and he says that's true enough when you know the person the location of where they are buried comes to you instantly my captain's instinct don't lie so they start betting aim to dig up this guy named Sai. He, and real C knows a lot about him from this conversation right now and this context. It means something. And like when Sai got petrified, he was on the school's roof. Oof. And Kono and then Kirus asked like Kohaku is asked like, You are familiar with the Sai guy? And Senku is like, so we know the target starting point. Plus the spot, not where we understand. It went beneath her statues and the topography back then. And so Dr. Chelsea and Dr. Senku could team up and I just don't like Chelsea at all. And the panel like, okay, she looks good. Why the hell do you have to give her the lipstick? Lipstick, it looks horrible. But then like everyone, and especially in manga, like you, you draw someone normally, like that's fine. And they look good. You give them lipstick, it like just like, eh. That's basically my reaction. And so they begin in their certain digging and they dig up Sai, who looks like an Indian deity for some reason. He's in like, was he practicing dance? And it's because that's what it looks like, and basically that's the pose that dancers like, many group dancers take in India, like, okay, the, the god pose. <laughs> okay, the writer didn't do that much research and like come out who would. Third and then basically that's a million times smart genius Sai. He loves half Indian, half Japanese. Great, another bad pretty boy. Gotta say I'm not a fan. And and then Sai wakes up. Up and like what's going on? And could it really be? Did you people save me? I don't thank you enough. 
and like he doesn't really say it like that, but I imagine his voice like this. <laughs> Yes, and the other thing is like, oh, good, um, he can string sentences together. What the hell do you think? We are idiots. It's so, he sees real sweet and yells and runs here from it. <laughs> and he has a very weird thing. <laughs> yeah! And he is extremely fast. <laughs> and Ryu is basically like, ha ha, running at the side of me. Show some tact. Catch him! Him and Kohaku basically like just catch, catches up like that. And, and then like he is freaking out. Kohaku catches him like <coughs> that. And, and gets like, what all the fuss? And Sai is yelling, no, 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 I fled all the way to India and it was not far enough. I refused to reach here and then I'm caught. Well, that's as long as you're involved. And Sen goes like this clip, but and he tells his full name is Sai Nanami. Me <laughs> on your feet, we're teaming up yep. with the million times brain power of yours. <sighs> okay, that's something like okay. <laughs> and he does not like Ryu Sui at all. Like that's that's just given. He does not like Ryu Sui at all. And that's why we got that. Like siblings can understand each other. So that because he has one and like Rizri is my little brother. Probably not anymore. <laughs> He's been like petrified for a long time. Rizri has been awake for longer than him. So they don't really look that much apart, so they probably haven't. And considering that he was in university, how old is Rizri? And everyone's like, What? And that's where we end up the chapter. Okay, this is gonna be hilarious and pretty fun at the same time and I still can't understand like what the hell was up with this course. It doesn't make any goddamn sense whatsoever, however you look at it, like come on. I know what this pose means, it's like a god pose, like every dancer does that, I was like, but he was on top of a school building while on his laptop just before the classes started. Okay, there's the panel. Like, uh, I did my okay. There's this, there's some weird shit going on right here. You hear that needs to be fixed on the side, but whatever. Well, uh, it makes no freaking sense for him to be like with this crowd, or, or are there some other people? Or with that, I think they just want to throw in like a reference because, like, okay, but it doesn't make sense. And it's like. Every time you depict India, you don't have to draw someone like this. The same. Although I'm pretty sure there's only one of Ragnarok are the only ones that I have read, and which I actually haven't even gotten them earlier yeah, in general. Because I don't watch any real world anime, I'm mostly into fantasy. Why the hell am I even reading Doctor Stone? <laughs> like then, okay. Let's do that part. Let's move on. And this is gonna be fun. <laughs> and I hope they stay here for like a while. And that's gonna be it. I just hope they stay. And can can I can the can anyone just tell me where they are? Because I can't think of any place right now which they could be. In Anime Corporation, great mathematician Bombay? No, not Bombay. Yeah, um where was it? Okay. Great mathematicians and if a uh, foreign institution is going to make a company, it's going to be like the, the engineering hub in India. The other knowledge of engineering, which is kind of a lot. Art and which mostly doesn't come in handy at all. I'll just bring it out there. And yeah, that's the deal. I kind of need to find a few things. So yeah, post production needs to be done. Well, it's whatever. Bye, guys, and see you soon, I guess. Well, tomorrow's a video confirmed because one piece is a thing. thing so, don't slouch on that. And if you're watching this, then don't you mind liking and subscribing and stuff because I don't really like telling this to people, but they don't really do it because no one really watches it. So, what the hell's the point? And anyway, yeah. Okay, bye.